Hey guys, welcome back. It's Crazy Welder, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over something that happened to me recently um, after I used the Hinkaku hack for my PS Vita TV. Um, so, as you can see, it's on my main TV right here. So, I've got a couple of games on here, and uh, you can see there's the shell, there's the whitelister, um, there's the shell updater, and so on. And so, the issue that I had was actually with um, Tearaway when I tried launching the game. It basically gave me that C128 error, and uh, what I've read online is that basically what happens is that the game files get corrupted. Um, usually when you switch from PS Vita back into the PS TV um, with your memory stick. And that usually happens as a result of using, I believe it's like QCMA. And so the issue was that for me, I ended up being logged out of my PSN account and I couldn't re-download the game after deleting all the data for it and following the online instructions for getting rid of the error. And so what I wanted to go over with you guys is basically how do you get the game back on your PS TV if you are, um, are no longer unable to connect to the PlayStation Network and as a result you can't really use the regular content manager because it always asks you for the update. And so the way you can do that, there's two ways. If you still happen to be signed into PSN, what you can actually do is you can log into PSN on the PC and you can go and assuming you have the game as a digital download, you can go to that game and select download and it'll ask you which devices you want it to download to. And then all you have to do is select your Vita and then if you see that little blue bubble um, off to the right up top and sometimes it takes a while to get there, um, basically it will tell you that you've got a download pending and it'll start downloading slowly. So that's one way. Now unfortunately that didn't work for me because I actually was no longer signed into PSN because me being an idiot I signed out. And so the other way of doing it is uh, you will still need to use QCMA on PC and you'll need to have your regular Vita, so not the PSTV but your you know P PS Vita. And what you're gonna have to do um, at that point is you're gonna have to put it into airplane mode so you can go to settings and um, there's an option up on top that says airplane mode. So you do that, you reset the Vita, you connect it to your PC and you end up going into QCMA. Now it will tell you something like the Vita requested um, an update and it will block that by putting in a special XML file and you'll see a little pop up on your PC that does that and uh, that'll get you ready and what you're gonna want to do is um, once that happens on your PC you'll go to your regular Vita you'll go into the content manager and it should come up as um, you know connect to or copy content and so you hit copy content and you'll see a PC option so you hit the PC option and you go into USB connection because you want to be connected over USB and what will happen then is once you get into the copy content screen on the PC and on the content manager for your Vita, you're going to disconnect the USB cable from the Vita and you're going to bring it over to either your PS3 or your PS4 and you're going to download the game that you wanted on your Vita. And from there, it's very simple. You just plug in your Vita uh, with that USB cable while still in content uh, copy mode and that will skip the update process that normally happens with the content manager and so that will allow you guys to copy content back and forth. Now it's it's a huge pain to do this obviously but that is basically the only way I found of getting the Vita's content onto it or onto the PSTV. Um, currently there's, there's no other real workaround unless of course you happen to have the package for the game sitting around on your PC, in which case, of course, it's as simple as just connecting your Vita to the QCMA and then copying the content into the right folder. But um, currently, as it stands, this is the way that I figured it out and the only way that I know of doing it. So hopefully for those of you guys that are having this problem, that'll fix the issue. Um, you know, if you know any other solutions, please let me know so I can update the video or make another one, for example, um, to help other folks out. And uh, happy hacking to you all you guys and hopefully it helped you out. So I'll see you in my next video.